this has looked a lot better. We've had Caitlyn right away. We've had a lot of traps. This has worked out very well. Let's investigate. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Caitlyn Swain, our last deck of the day. Uh, Going to be building around these two, which was pretty difficult to do, but you know we'll see. We'll see how this works out. We got lots of removal, and that's what it's all about, right? You need need lots of removal, lots of damage based removal, and that's going to help Swain level up. And I think Swain's going to kind of be our main champ out of the two, with Caitlyn more for support. Um, because Caitlyn needs five traps to be activated before she levels up. And that's the thing that's like difficult to do. You could play like, like maybe we need Puffcap Peddler and Chumpwump in here and be able to have like some Puffcaps in here also. Maybe you got to have that for more traps. But we're going to see without playing those two. Because I just, I didn't really want to play those cards, right? Because Puffcap Peddler is a card you don't really want to attack or block with. With this kind of deck, you want to attack and block with everything. You want stuff to trade. You want to win with Swain Leviathan at the late game. So that's what I want to do. So we're not doing that. But as far as making traps go, we'll have, of course, Caitlyn. And then we'll have the Sting Officer. And we'll have Piltover Peacemaker. Pretty cool little card to make some traps. And then finally, two copies of Karina that I'm going to mostly use the first ability. Play Plant 5 Flash Bomb Traps. Um, you know, in the top five cards of the deck. So those are like all of our trap cards. Each one of those traps will be non-combat damage that it will be dealing to help Swain level up. And then once Swain levels up, of course, any time that we have Nexus damage, then we're going to be stunning stuff. Game Boy Rob with the big time raid. Welcome everybody from Game Boy Rob's stream. We are just starting Caitlyn Swain, our last deck today. The four mana slot here with Aloof Travelers, two copies of those. It was kind of difficult to decide whether to play those or to play um, Justice Rider. So, you know, we're not really making our opponent draw very many cards. So it's just kind of you play Justice Rider, it doesn't do anything. The next round will give them one trap in the top 10 cards. If it's still alive, the next round after that, a second trap, right? So it's very, very slow. So I went ahead and went with the Aloof Travelers, thinking that this could help draw into traps. But then also that the opponent discarding their highest cost card could be really good for Swain Leviathan, right? Usually those um, expensive cards are like the things that are like the removal spells for Swain Leviathan or the things that are more powerful for us to uh, struggle with dealing with. Where we can deal with small things with Death's Hand, Peacemaker, Mystic Shot, Ravenous Flock, and so on. All right, but anyway, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and play some games. I'm also going Time Trick for our card draw. So for card draw, we're going to have Time Trick, Travelers, and Static Shock. Hopefully that's enough. Um, could be playing like Whisper Words or other stuff instead of Time Trick. So we'll see how Time Trick does for us. All right, but let's get to our games. So we'll go ahead and go play five games in Ranked with Caitlin Swain. Um... The real good thing with Shadow, Shadow Isles with Scion, of course, is the one mana card that you can turn Scion into being ephemeral. Looks like we got a Scion day. More Draven Scion. Yeah, this Draven Scion looks really nice. Oh yeah, Scion's definitely a whole lot better than Darius or Trindamir or any, any of those kind of champions, absolutely. Scion is always, always leveled up round seven. Not even close to not being leveled up. All right, gotta give him those traps. Well, we can kill four twos. I like seeing four twos. Oh, I should have done. I should have done the peacemaker. <clears throat> I didn't. I was. I was in my mind. I was all set on them like open attacking, and I needed to um, do that fast speed. But yeah, I should have played the peacemaker. Yeah, it's so pretty crazy, right? We played removal spell round two, removal spell round three. Also round three, we're at 12. 
<laughs> but I wish I had the fast speed spell still. Oh, these are fast. Okay, never mind. These are fast also. They're not slow. I'm used to like the new stuff being slow. Can only play one card this round, and that is frustrating. Having my opponent discard their expensive card may not necessarily be good for us. So it looks like we're dead. Here's my calling card. Hurry on. This Draven Scion deck is really good. I don't know if y'all have no noticed that yet. <laughs> we've gotten destroyed by it the last few times we've played against it. Yesterday we were easily 5-0 with it. That deck just hits so hard, so much size, so much card advantage. It has everything. That, that deck has everything. Okay, cool. So this is going to be like make it rain. Um, lots of like one little one damage things. Together. So. Yeah, make it rain, static shock, red card. All in the same deck. Probably ruined a Rex. That would be my guess. We'll just force him to use two cards to kill Caitlyn. I mean, this is kind of better than them using just another spell to kill Caitlyn, which Caitlyn will die to a lot of spells. I know that looks kind of crazy, but assuming they're just going to Static Shock or Red Card or all that stuff, make it rain, it's kind of better to just do that. Give them the traps. You gotta leave the bay to see the ocean. Son taught me to never let my guard down. Give it chase. Yep. See, Caitlyn would have just died to that. So it worked out better. Blocking, that is. So this does mean that we take two. If I stun the Twisted Fate, I can block, and that's what I want to do is block. But if I stun the Twisted Fate, they use removal spell on my 3-2, then I'm taking four. So I'm taking two less here. Ok, 
Okay, first one of those. Don't those fools know I own this city? So we're definitely going to need Swain Leviathan in this game, right? Because they just completely mow down smaller units, as you see, with all of their different things. And so we de we're definitely going to need Swain Leviathan. But there's Swain. These flash bombs are not get you that fire. far off. I love this card in this deck, this new Station Archivist. If you haven't seen this... Pick a spell in the top five of the deck and create an exact co fleeting copy of it. So they just made a copy of like a Make It Rain or a Static Shock or a, or a Mystic Shot. You know, like for a three mana 3-3, three, three, this card is really, really good. And this is a perfect deck for this card. So that's... So they have to line them up. Done. I smell a rat. Got a surprise for him. Envious. That's eight for Swain. I have something very special. Um, my favorite deck combo so far. I don't. I don't know if I have a favorite right now. I'm not usually one that has too many favorites. Yeah, Zoe Nami was awesome. I also went for one the very last game we lost, and I think I could have won that last game as well. I kind of messed up that last game. I, I could have gone for lethal against Aurelia Azir, and I didn't, and, you know, then they killed me, like, the next round, and so I should have gone for lethal. Yeah, so they're getting another unit to take the flash bombs, because they should have a lot of flash bombs coming up. Uh, how has Caitlyn Swain been treating us? So, I mean, what this is... We're just starting it, right? Like, we, we lost our first game to Draven's, Draven Scion, which is a really, really, really good deck. Wow, that did not go well. Yeah, our deck definitely still needs to be optimized, right? Like, yeah, we're just... This is... We're just trying stuff out for the first time, right? Swain decks like this are... It's a lot easier to play Swain whenever there's, like, a metagame where you're, like, actually kind of know what you're going to be playing against and, like, what kind of removal spells you need and, and everything like that. Um, it's difficult to play Swain when you don't really know what's exactly going on. And that's new formats. You don't really know exactly what's going on. But this is an impressive showing for our opponent's deck. Very good looking deck. We're going under. Um, Twisted Fate Ezreal. Deal me in. Soak it in. Ah, uh, only one. I, I want to play the Swain they know about. Born of attrition, I became a soldier. Time for a true display of skill. We 
we made it. Yay. But our All right. Stuff did it. Okay, that gives gives us hope. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Burst speed. Burst speed. They should thank you. Obviously, we're dead. Maybe we need more, like, aloof travelers. They're kind of like our version of Sprayfin. Hey, Caitlyn Draven. This is going to be interesting. Same regions. Both Caitlyn decks. I have a lot of ways to do two damage to stuff, but not very many ways to do more than that. And we can't like, like we can't protect Caitlyn at all in these regions. Can't protect anything. Swain's gonna be our our biggest win condition, and that's that's what we have built around is Swain. Our deck does lots of damage. The thing is, is our kind of the problem is like for a Swain deck, our card advantage isn't good enough, and so I that's. There's a lot of difficult things to, to... There's a lot of cards that we want to play. There's like 60, 70 cards that we could put in this deck. Figuring out the right 40 is difficult. And so I... You know, I, I don't think mine's, my list is perfect. Like these cards, like Time Tricks. They sound good, but in practice they haven't been working out too well. Mostly Time Trick is a card that's amazing late game. Not good early game, but like late game where you where you need a specific card, um, and you have the extra mana. Um, but maybe we just need more. Like we need more units with card advantage. We need more zap spray fins. There's obviously like the discard draw cards and PNZ that you can kind of build around. That's your plan. Um, that's an option. So it's like like I was talking about whisper words is an option. We could play a lot more puff caps and make it just like a Caitlyn deck that has Swain for a top end card. I have no guesses for what champions will be in later expansions. I've actually never played League of Legends. Uh, I, I'm i a, I'm like a card player that started playing Runeterra, so I know all the champions and everything in Runeterra, but I couldn't name a single champion that's not in Runeterra. I don't know anything about other champions. Oh, that hit us. I was like, man, we've gotten lucky with the two flash bombs. But no, that flash bomb went and hit us, <laughs> not them. But just for these regions and everything, and kind of how I have this built, I have this built kind of like Ezreal Swain that I played last format and enjoyed, but with Caitlyn instead of Ezreal. And I'm not sure that's, I'm not sure this is the best way to go about it. Make some more traps. I'm just gonna pass, see if a trap kills this thing. Well, what have we here? I do not want that thing striking me. No, maybe that's not that big a deal. Maybe I shouldn't be you know, using two cards to kill Caitlyn. Fine. 
All right, so I'm going to take one extra point of damage. I'm going to kill the aloof travelers, take one extra point of damage. And because then one flash bomb kills this 4-1. Instead of needing multiple flash bombs. And we have our time trick still. I guess I'm going for Leviathan. Time for the main event. Let's give him some more traps. So that's a leveled up Swain. They didn't draw a trap. Me, miss, not by a long shot. Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. Yeah, I've liked the aloof travelers. I should be playing more of them. I made them discard tribe even probulator. That's awesome. They have another one that's not awesome. You never. Yeah, kind of see you never because I'm dead. <laughs> Carry on. Hmm. So after consideration, I don't think that these two champions work very well together. Or at least my build with these two champions don't really work. I don't... I don't know. So, I feel like we're just in a, in a bad spot for Caitlyn. I feel like pairing Caitlyn with Draven and making it very, you know, making an aggressive deck like my opponent had, I think that makes sense. Also, um, pairing Caitlyn in a, or playing Caitlyn Control also makes sense, but the thing about Caitlyn, like we're a control deck. The thing about Caitlyn Control is you want Caitlyn to be able to strike multiple times and things like that. You need it to be able to stay out there. And right now, I don't have I don't have any way to protect Caitlyn. And so like playing it with like Freljord or another region that has protection, I think makes more sense than with Noxus. Sun's beneath me and wind's behind me. Because Caitlyn's not good at blocking. I go, so I'll probably I have go. to just be aggressive like with Draven. I think those make sense together. Yeah, they want to draw the cards, they can draw the traps. I know, I know, I'm making the Caitlyn vulnerable. Oh, and then now stunned? So they discarded Herald of the Mages. That's good. This'll be a blast. I'm liking these aloof travelers. They've looked good. It's the thing. I just I just need more like bodies that create card advantage or more incidental card advantage. That's that's what I need is incidental card advantage. Well, 
what have we here? Really? All right, let's give them some more flash bombs. Hope that they draw one flash bomb, do a damage to the Zig. There we go. Now Ziggs will uh, be vulnerable to the Peacemaker. So it doesn't take any damage once the Ziggs is gone, because then Kaylin's not Ziggs' blocker anymore. So this has looked a lot better. We've had Caitlyn right away, we've had a lot of traps. This has worked out very well. Let's investigate. Alright, one and one and three. So of course Caitlyn there just does damage equal to the number of traps that they activated also with the strike, so attack for eight. Alright, and Zed Karma. A little... It's not some new cards. Alright, so we're gonna have Caitlyn and Mulligan. Alright, Caitlyn and Karina. I think that's our plan, Caitlyn and Karina. Yeah, Beach Your Eyes says, perhaps Caitlyn Swain should be the other way around, build around Caitlyn and use Swain as support. That that would be the ideal thing. Like, that's what you want to do. You want to build around your three mana champion, have your five mana champion as support. That would be ideal. The thing is, there's just not... Kind of... I don't know. There's... It's difficult to do that. That's why. That's exactly what I wanted to do, but it's just it's difficult to do that. Um, maybe that means more puff cap peddlers. We just kind of need more cheap spells, and we need more protection. Not having any not having any protection makes that plan very difficult. Adam Darkshadow with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for that support, Adam Darkshadow. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Thank you so much. That is our third sub of the day. So best case scenario is they have a trap on top of their deck and the trap hits Zed and then I get to shoot the Zed with the flock, like assuming they open attack. Maybe they play something before attacking? Velvet Alabaster says maybe Sharpened Resolve. Yeah, Sharpened Resolve is not ideal. Karina has been pretty good for us at different times. It's it's not a you know it's just like Leviathan like you don't want it in your opening hand right like that's that's not what you want at all. But okay, so neither of those cards had flash bombs. We still have two flash bombs. I do kind of want my three two and two three to trade to get that off. The like out of play so that it's not eating up flash bombs. Whoa, another Twitch Prime sub. Mando Nando, keeping that sub going for months now. Let's keep those hype boats going. Thank you, Mando Nando. River shape the land and give it life. Oh yeah, the deck you had Sharpen Resolve in, you also had 
sharp sight? Yeah, see, that's that's what this deck needs, is like a sharp sight. That's what... Caitlyn kind of needs a, a sharp sight, a Twin Disciplines, a Troll Chant. You know, you kind of want those kind of cards. Man, we are not good at having them draw Flash Bombs. Karina, what brings you here? Business and pleasure, Sheriff. Engulf them. A gift good attack. I was definitely hoping they did not attack. That was a good attack. Finally. Ugh, they went to the wrong thing. Hmm. Sodium Umbrella, making it five subs on the day. Thank you, Sodium Umbrella. I appreciate that. There's no shortage of possibilities, but there's always a best path. Karina, what brings you here? Business and pleasure, Sheriff. Basically because whenever I've used uh, Karina in the past, in the making. Um, it'll activate those flash bombs, but then it will shuffle the deck afterwards. And so I don't want like all those flash bombs shuffled away. At least that's... I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to shuffle the deck or not, but like that's what it seems like it's done from my opponent playing Karina before. Counterfeit copies. It will be done. Protect each other. Zero. Zero flash bombs. Oh, you think that was on Hexite Crystal? Crystal. Alright, so now Caitlyn will be leveled up. So they're down to nine. So they must be playing a deck with no other fast beat spells, right? Like they're just drawing Hexite Crystals? I think that would make sense. Yeah. So that's what they're doing. Man, that's a lot of Hexite Crystals. I've never had anybody cast four Hexite Crystals against me before. There's always a way out. I guess I'm kind of dead. Yeah, like this, if, if that's just another Hexite Crystal, I just can't do anything. I if I had one more if I had one more mana, but anything I do right now, I die. If that's a Hexite Crystal. I 
guess. Nope. If I do that, I die. I guess. If I do this. I guess I have to do this, then they cast Hexite Crystal before attacking. If I, like, if I just had one more mana for the Peacemaker, for the cons Conspirator. You can't play Mystic and Thermo at the same time. Strike quickly. I can, you can't block with Sting. If, if it's Hexite Crystal, I play Sting, they kill Sting. Blocking with Sting doesn't work. Right? Like, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't work. I play Sting, they play Hexite Crystal. Okay, so tons and tons of Hexite Crystals. If I would have, and so like playing against that deck again, I, I would definitely play that a lot differently or, you know, I'd definitely know better. Um... I could, I could have won that game. I had the tools to win that game, but I played poorly against all Hexite Crystals. Like, for example, whenever I attacked with my two Karinas and had them turn into 5-3s instead of 5-5s five um, and let them die to double Crystal, that was a mistake. Yeah, creative deck. Very, very good job, opponent. Very good job. So as far as our deck goes, like I was saying, we need more, like, incidental card advantage. The time tricks were just kind of too expensive for only just, like, finding one card. I was trying time tricks without Fallen Feline. I, I originally had Fallen Feline in here. Um, but yeah, we just need more more things that just like draw cards while, while they play it. <laughs> kind of stuff. So uh, Aloof Travelers looked good. I liked that card. We didn't have good enough answers. We didn't have good enough blockers. Um, we dealt two damage to stuff really well. Having Peacemaker, Death's Hand, Mystic Shot. I think that's just too many things that just do specifically to damage. Um, you know, we can't protect Caitlyn. There's, well, let's kind of go back to the drawing board. There's just a lot of cards, like I was saying, that we want to play in a deck like this. And I think that, uh, we kind of need more like aloof traveler, static shocks. I don't know, whisper words, but then also we need better blockers early game, right? Like we just don't have anything that's blocking, like sting officer is not blocking for us. I had no ones. So like, maybe we need house spider, but then, you know, like we're just, but like that kind of stuff is just building a Swain deck and it's not really building a Caitlyn deck. So at first thought, I kind of feel like this would just be better as like, you know, Draven Swain or Ezreal Swain, like normal in like Piltover and Zon Swain, which is a perfectly fine deck. But as far as building it to be Caitlyn, uh, going to need some more practice with that. All right. So anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, please leave those comments. I always appreciate those comments. Uh, you know, like, let me know what would you do with Caitlyn Swain? If you got good ideas for C Caitlyn Swain, let us know over there on YouTube. Let, let uh, all the other viewers know if you got any good ideas for this style of deck. And I would appreciate that. All right, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.